Here we are tonight at the 22nd annual Long Island International Film Expo at the wonderful Belmore Movies. Stick with us. I am with Sammy Ray. Say hello. Hi. And Las Vegas, L-O-S, Vegas. And they're performing tonight. What is it that you guys are going to do? Uh, we're doing a reggaeton song. It's our first single. It's called Escapate. Okay. Now, is this an original song? Yes, everything original. Oh, okay. So, now, are you a singer? Yes. Okay. Now, do you play an instrument? No. I mean, I was a child, I did, but no. No longer. Oh. I want to. Okay, so you both sing. Now, is, is it in English? Because I, I detect that you might have a, a Latin background. It's English and Spanish. So I do English with a little bit of Spanish, and he does Spanish with a little bit of English. How long have you been uh, performing together? Together we've been performing about two months. If really? that, yeah, it's, it's fairly new to us. Oh. How long have you been singing, though? I've been singing for like five years. Oh, yeah. good for you. And what's the name of your song? Escapate, which means escape. We also have a video out uh, in YouTube, and it's also found in Spotify, iTunes. Um, well, you can find us at Sammy Ray in Las Vegas. Okay, thank you guys. Sammy Ray, R-A-E? R-A-E and Los, L-O-S-V-E-G-A-S. <laughs> Vice President of the Long Island Film and Television Foundation, one of the founders of life, the inventor of sliced bread, and all-around superhero, Deborah Markowitz. Thank you so much, Sammy Ray in Las Vegas. Thank you so much, guys. So I'm so happy to see you all here for our 22nd annual Long Island International Film Expo. This year we screened 184 short and feature length films, music videos, movie trailers, and webisodes from all around the world. Now I'd like to welcome um, someone who is so instrumental in putting this all together. Please welcome President of the Long Island Film and TV Foundation, owner of the Belmore Movies, and uh, basically one of my partners in crime in this venture, Henry Stempel. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to welcome you all. Uh, it's been 22 years. 22 years ago, Deborah Markowitz called us, my wife Annie and uh, my wife Annie and myself, and she uh, and she she said, "I'd like to run a film festival in your theater." And 22 years later, we're still doing it. It's become such a success. This year, we have 184 films. I'm very proud of the films that were submitted. Uh, we do, uh, I mean, there were like 450 films that were submitted and we watched them all, so I want you to uh, enjoy, sit back, and Debbie? Uh, but please welcome County Executive Laura Curran. Thank you so much to the Stamfels for hosting this again, and thanks to all of you for bringing your films here. You may know this, and you may have me, heard me say this, but I feel like I can't tout it enough. We have such a vibrant, robust film industry here in Nassau County. As county executive, I love it because it generates about $200 million in our local economy, which is wonderful. It's also good for our brand. I'm often talking about the Nassau County brand and building it up. Having the film industry do so well here adds a little luster, a little sexiness to Nassau County, to the suburbs, which, you know, I think we deserve a little bit of that. I'm here with Robert Clohesse and Abigail Hawk from Blue Blood. Woo! Woo wow, terrific, terrific. How exciting it is that you, you. you two are here tonight. Now, I know everybody's talking to you about celebrity and your show, but I also want to mention something that you're involved in, which happens to be a cause called ADAPT, right? Yes, yes, indeed. You want to tell everybody about that? Sure. So ADAPT works with uh, individuals, mostly young children who are uh, developmentally disabled, and it helps um, them to thrive educationally and with residences and getting the tools that they need to fully thrive in society, and it's awesome. 
Yeah, that is awesome, and I love when people give back. Do they have a website? Do you know what it is? They do. I believe it's adaptcommunity.org, but it could be .net. So don't quote me on it. Okay. So if you type in Adapt Community Network, it'll come up. Abigail, let me ask you, how it is working with this guy? <laughs> and Tom Selleck. Oh, well, we can talk about Tom. Oh, man, Tom's the best. Uh, I, I love these guys. Yeah. I love them. It's, it's like I, I show up to work and I have, you know, my favorite uncles hanging out with me and they've all become my best friends. I and know. And you have, but your background is really in theater. You're from Atlanta. Yes, You're from Atlanta. Atlanta. You went to yes. school in Maryland, right? I did. Yes, 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 I know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Um, and, and you also have a Christmas movie. I do. Or shout, yes. shout out about that. Uh, Christmas in Vermont. Uh, and I just finished filming a new one called Destination Christmas. So oh, I'm not yes. sure when that one will be out. Christmas movies are so hot they show them in july and august and what about you robert what about me we love you thank you robert has been coming here for how many years now Whoa, since <laughs> for 22 since the very beginning 22 <laughs> years 22 Let's years at the very beginning <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now, you also played a, a zombie. That was hysterical. That won Best Movie, oh, didn't yeah. it? One Best Movie, Best Actor. Thank you. What was the name of that again? Sleep? Zombie Taxi Driver. No, The Last Taxi Driver. The Last. Oh, Last <laughs> Taxi Driver. <laughs> he can't even promote himself. That's how humble this man is. Actually, I have done three Broadway plays. Really? Yeah. Twelve Angry Men. Have you seen that? Pal Joey. And rounding third. And rounding third. And you don't have any films in this year's uh, expo? Huh? You don't have any films this year here? No, no. It's unfortunate. Probably this, the, f the festival won't be as successful this year <laughs> as prior years because I'm in no film. Yeah. Now, I understand that your schedule is really good for you because you only have to film when Tom Selleck's in town from L.A., right? That is true. So you that can really true. be a mom. I can. And have your I career. That's yes. wonderful. Thank you. That's so good. Best of all worlds. So I'm enjoying it very much. Good. Websites, anybody? I am on Instagram at Hawk Abigail and Facebook at Abigail Hawk. And what about you? I'm at the uh, the cafe in 44th and 9th. You could see me there. I go in for coffee, whatever. Now, what Robert's sons are both actors. You want to give a shout out? What are what are they up to? My son, my son Miles has done like four guest spots on TV shows this year, and he's doing a lot of stuff. I don't know. You did something with him, didn't you? I've done three or four things with good. both of them. Yeah. Good. Well, good luck to them. Have a good night, guys. Thank You're you presenters, very, very right? Yes. Presenters. All right, so, and now we have a very special guest presenter to present our Creative Achievement Award honoree. And we're going to do it backwards this time. First, we'll show the reel for our Creative Achievement Award scripts I'll send you. Two of them need a lot of work, but one of them is in really good shape. That's great, Erin. I can't wait to read them. My schedule's a little packed right now, but we'll make it work. So tell me what's next for you. Well, first I'm doing Jay's film. Oh, no, no, no. I'm only telling you this because I really love you, but you are never going to be successful until you ditch him. What are you talking about? There's way better actors, and you would know that if you weren't infatuated with him. Okay, we are friends, and he is a damn good actor. I wouldn't be using him. He's a piece of trash. <laughs> Gina, I've been thinking. Hold on. Quarantine over, heading home, who's post? Perhaps I was a little bit hasty. I see you sent me a friend request. I did. That's too bad. Ignore. <laughs> Gina, we, we can start over again. Uh, we can start a farm together. Or, or, or we can just poke. <laughs> I have accompanied you on many, many hospital visits to officers who have been injured in the line of duty, some who have died in the line of duty. I knew it was your job. What I never fully understood was just how important 
your visit is to the officer's family. And now I know. Thank you. I didn't want to say that I don't understand why I was edited out of that real. <laughs> There was a scene with me and Abigail, but I was, I was cut out. <laughs> so really, I love Abby, and uh, it's been a pleasure for the last 10 years to, to be with her and be her partner on screen, and we've had a lot of fun, and, and, and what's this award I'm giving her? <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award? She's like 19 years old! <laughs> Creative, chief of creative. What did she? What did she create? No, serious. She's created a lot. She creatively edited me out of that reel. Bob. I am with the ever beautiful, ever terrific Carol Silva, who is receiving from Life their very first. Excellence and Newscasting Award. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. You know, I love the award because I do the same thing as the filmmakers, the producers, the actresses, the actors, and that's, I tell stories, and I find out about people's stories, and that is such a privilege to be able to get inside people's stories and sometimes make their stories a little bit better, and so that's why this is really such a remarkable night. But you have to do it on a very quick turnaround. Filmmakers can have a year to get their film together, and you're like 24 hours, right? You know what? You learn to listen well. You learn to be accurate, you learn to double check your facts, but you really have to listen well. If you listen well, you know, everybody says, now I can multitask, I, I can do this while I'm doing everything else. It doesn't all go in. You really have to devote attention to the person that you're talking to and just listen well, and everybody has a story. You know, and you should be an actress because the number one uh, lesson that you're taught is to listen well. To listen, right? So you're with News 12 since you graduated college, am I right? Well, I did some radio before that. I worked at WBAB Rock Station, WGBB, uh, music but largely news station. Then WLIR, of course, the big Long Island rock station, the historic. There's a documentary about us now. Uh, WGSM, W. OR Radio, WNBC, I did some Long, Long Island reporting for both of those. RKO Radio Network kind of squeezed in for a while. Channel 13, I used to do their booth announcing. Coming up next, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And then News 12, I started there in March of 1987. You have a great speaking voice. And I am going to miss you on News 12 because you do morning and you do midday. And I love seeing you and Elizabeth Hasaken and the girls. Oh, I'm so sad that you're leaving. I'm retiring. I'm pushing away from the anchor desk, but I'm going to tell them later. I learned this in rock radio. I'm not retiring to a rocking chair. I'm retiring to go rock something else. Yeah. You would never be in a rocking chair. No, no, no. Well, congratulations Thank on your you. award and every success in the future to you. Thank you. And enjoy the festivities tonight. Good night for everybody. Let me just ask you, what's one of your favorite movies? Well, name um, a couple. I love When Harry Met Sally because it reminds me of my husband and myself. My husband and I always laugh. Somebody says movie and I think Dances with Wolves because people would say, oh, have you seen a movie lately? And I say, yeah, the last movie we saw was Dances with Wolves. And then the kids were old enough. So there was a decade and a half of Disney movies. Yeah. Um, but absolutely one of my favorites is It's a Wonderful Life. I've got a signed autographed picture of Zuzu in my living room because I think no matter what happens, ultimately, if you don't like the way you look at things, change the way you look at them. And that's the story behind It's yeah. a Wonderful Life. And, and how powerful one life can be. And yours certainly has been. Thank You've you. touched so many lives in a positive way. Keep going, girl. More lives ahead. It is my honor to present the excellent in newscasting award to News 12 Zone, Long Island Zone, and our own Carol
here with the fabulous Jackie the Joke Man Martling, and he is a comedian. He's an author. How's your book going, by the way? You know, it's very funny because my book did okay. But, Tell everybody the name of your book. Uh, the Joke Man, Bow to Stern. And I was on the Howard Stern show for 18 years, and I left the show like 20 years ago, and Howard never mentioned that I put out my autobiography on this, on his show. But my, my book just got a crazy re research, resurgence, a whole big bump, because Howard put out a book, and on Amazon, if you buy a book, it shows the book. You get yours free? And, and underneath it says, <laughs> underneath it says, other people who bought this book have also bought this, so all of a sudden all the people from his show are going, I didn't know Jackie had a book, so they're buying mine too, so without even meaning all to. Right, well, good. So I'm thrilled. It was uh, in the cards. It was in the cards, and uh, they're doing a documentary on me called Joke Man that should be out in the fall. Really? Who's doing that? Uh, IKA Collective in New York City, and, uh, and it's really fun. It's exciting. You know. So are you taping that now? It's, it's almost done, uh, but it's been pieced together, and every time you get another good interview, like we just got Mark Cuban, which is a big deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so old. I've met so many people I along know. the damn way, you know. I know. And do they take excerpts from your uh, stand-up routine and things? Yeah, just little tiny snippets here. You know, there. you used to send me uh, jokes once a week. What happened? I stopped I've, getting them. I've been sending the jokes once a month. I was borrowing them. For 30 years, but they've been blocked by a lot of... Really? A lot of uh, you know the the, the servers oh. either because they're dirty or for whatever reason. So well, you got to reapply. Some are just funny. I, I wouldn't say they're dirty. Some are just edgy. No, no, not not because of that, but more because maybe there's there's links in the, in the emails or something oh. like that. And some people a mass email. Some they just get rejected automatically. So okay. is there any place where we can see you coming up? Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm on. Uh, I'm in Peekskill, New York, tomorrow night. That's too soon. That's upstate. And I'm at. Um, I'm in Boston the first week of August. That's too far away. Uh, I'm at the Goat. I'm at in the Goat at in Staten Island on August 24th, and that's a great, great, great place. And uh, I'm not on Long Island for a while. Good for you. You got a website? Jokeland.com, and uh, everything's on there. Thanks, thanks, Jackie. You're a presenter tonight, right? I'm a presenter. I'm presenting. I'm the last presenter. Your old hat at that. You, you're here a lot doing that. I'm always here. To, you know, they know I'm not busy, you know. No, they know you're great at it. That's why. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. I'll tell a naughty joke for you. I'm here with Alex Scrimger, and he is involved with Eddie's great new comedy. Tell us something about the film. Is it a pilot? It is a pilot. It's a feel-good comedy uh, in the tradition of sort of Nightcore Cheers and Taxi. Uh, we wanted to bring some niceness back to television. Uh, Eddie and I were sick of mean characters on TV being celebrated for doing mean things. And so, we so uh, you're the writer, and, and what other hat did you wear? I, I was the creator and executive producer as well. Oh, now, how long were you working on this? Uh, well, we I created it with uh, Eddie uh, four years ago, actually, when Eddie was working at a bar and everybody ha was coming up to Eddie and had a story to tell and a big smile. And I looked at him and I said, Eddie, what if this bar was your place? And we made a TV show about that. Yeah. Now, how long did it take for you to shoot this? Uh, we shot 34 pages in two days. That's because our director, Michael Lang, had great experience working on the Larry Sanders show. Okay. And that was what they did. They did three days of rehearsals and two days of shooting. Oh. So it's all thanks to our... Uh, Michael Lang, the, the director and also executive producer. Okay, so now you want this to be a, a pilot. So did you do it actually like as a short film then and, and enter it into life? Uh, no, we, it, it, it's in life as a, as a webisode, uh, as, a, as a pilot. So oh. yeah, we, we always had it in mind to be a new media project, a pilot uh, that will belong on sort of an SVOD platform uh, like CBS All Access is, or Amazon. Now, do you have a main anchor characters in this? Sure. Uh, Eddie McGee is the star and the main character, uh, playing a fictionalized version of himself uh, named Eddie McGee. And George Wendt plays the captain. George Wendt, who played, obviously, the iconic character Norm on Cheers for many years. Fabulous, fabulous. So. Now, I know Eddie has been residing in California for a bit, right? Was it shot in L.A.? Uh, yeah, we shot it in, in Hermosa Beach. Uh, doubles as Venice, because uh, Eddie's is about a fictional beach bar and grill in Venice Beach, California. His quirky, crazy staff that work for him and all the... the uh, eclectic locals and tourists that are coming off the beach. And how many minutes does it run? 26 minutes. Okay. 
Okay, 27. And now where do you go from here with something like this? Well, we're trying to get uh, an agent to take us on or a manager to uh, get us out there pitching to the broadcasters where we feel this would live and thrive. Um, certainly there has never been a show like Eddie's on television giving representation to over 25% of the American population that lives with a disability. And Eddie uh, exemplifies and speaks very well for the community. And uh, uh, like he said, it, it's, it, it's a great uh, show for anyone to watch. Do you have a trailer for this online? We do. You can go to facebook.com slash Eddie's TV show. And you, there's all sorts of trailers on there and a, a pre a three minute look at the show so yeah and you have a website uh, again it's facebook.com slash Eddie's TV show or Instagram uh, slash Eddie's TV show <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, are you up for an award tonight? We have been nominated. Uh, this is our fourth nomination. We won twice, so we would like to make it lucky three. Third time's a charm, folks. Uh, and what's the nom? Uh, best Pilot. And now the nominees for the Best Webisode. Yeah. Oh, here. Here. Oh, here. Did it again. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Canada, make it legally hire you. God is still God, don't matter where it's from. I am from Toronto, true, but I was actually born in Los Feliz. Junior, relax. Relax? Are you serious right now? How do you expect me to relax when the doctor says you have stage four cancer, Mel? Huh? How can I relax? Everything's going to be fine. Please don't hit me with that positivity crap right now. Can you listen to me for a second, please? No matter what happens to me... Oh Junior, stop! Stop! No matter what happens to me, I need you to take care of Jennifer. Ah, uh, yeah. There is nothing like New York. I don't care what anyone says. New York is still something else. Take our education department, for example. You may not know it, but at one time, our teachers and administrators couldn't get fired Ever, no matter what. They just reported to a detention center, kind of like the breakfast club. But, you know, for adults only. Hey! Uh, where's my dad? Good morning, Mo. It's Olivia. Good morning, Olivia. He's getting ready, don't worry. Why else would you be wearing a shirt with an adorable little puppy? This is Superboy's dog, Crypto, and he's a total badass. We're... We're actually in college. We're here for the comic book convention. Phil! Wait, comic book convention? Wait, you don't mean that weird thing in the basement with all the smelly guys, do you? You do mean that thing. is een hele sociale, lieve, vriendelijke jongen en die um, ontzettend veel vrienden heeft. Uh, heel sterk is die, echt een doorzetter. Um, was altijd ontzettend lief voor mij. The 2019 Life Award for Best Webisode, New Media TV, Eddie's. I want to thank Life. Uh, I'd like to thank our uh, director and other executive producer, Michael Lang. Uh, I'd like to thank Eddie McGee, the star of Eddie's. I'd like to thank our wonderful, talented cast and crew. I'd like to thank uh, my wife, who also helped create some of the characters that you saw on screen. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, just everybody who is here tonight. Uh, great filmmakers, great talent, and thank you so much.